here we are in my Aweber account and I want to show you this just to demonstrate that what I've already got set up is a web form it's an email sign up form that basically has a few objects and transparent background it'll work really well with the empty block that we're working with and then I also wanted to show you that the width here is 170 pixels and that'll work really nicely it'll, it'll look very centered in the add stuff block when we put it in. Nice thing about the add stuff block is it actually adjusts in height. So if this was two or three times as tall as this, it would adjust automatically. And I don't need to worry about setting a height for the add stuff module. So the next thing I'm going to do is get the Java code for this particular form. Go ahead and go to publish, save, Java snippet, and here it is down here. So we'll highlight that and I'm going to copy it. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the uh, text editor. So when I come back we'll be in the text editor and I'll show you how to paste this in correctly. Okay, we've got our text editor open and we're going to make a couple changes. First, let's paste our snippet before I forget. It goes in the innermost div tags. Let's go ahead and get all that highlighted. and just paste and now we've got our Java snippet that we pull from the Aweber form the other modification I want to make here is I actually do not want to have a header in this case I just want to show you as much as anything that you can make these changes and um, really have some flexibility to what your block is going to look like so let's go ahead and delete that and I'm going to save that to my desktop and I'm going to rename this. You don't have to have just the my stuff name. Uh, you can actually make it as descriptive as you like and I'm going to call this Aweber. My stuff Aweber integration. But you do need to remember what this is because we'll use this somewhere else. So before I go away I'm just going to copy that. So I'll save it to my desktop. Now we want to transfer that file that we just saved to the desktop over to the web host so let's go ahead and get these out of the way and grab our my stuff hyphen aweber hyphen integration file and drop it in the add stuff module so as you can see you can have a lot of different things going on in the add stuff module you could set one up for a youtube integration an aweber integration or anything that your imagination can come up with and all you do is you just keep creating these new um, .html files that are more or less based off of the mystuff.html. You have as many in there as you want and then you can change your mystuff block to use any one of these anytime you like. It's pretty uh, pretty flexible. It's really a wonderful little module. So now that we've got this in here, um, let's go ahead and go back to our back office and we need to be in the modules tab let's go ahead and reconfigure our add stuff module and you can see that it's got mystuff.html let's paste in the mystuff hyphen aweber hyphen integration.html that we had copied now you have to remember to click update stuff or nothing will change so now it's updated we should be able to see a pretty significant change in the back office now so let's click reload and there we go. So the reason I chose not to include the header in this particular module is I just didn't think it would look very good. Uh, you can change that. You can add your header back in even though we've deleted it out. But I kind of like this. It's very simple, very, um, very effective. And now this ties into my particular email list with my Aweber account. So it's absolutely awesome. And I've already tested it uh, before I did this video, so I know it works. So that is all there is to setting up an Aweber integration into a My Stuff module. And, um, you know, you can change it back really easy. Say you don't like this, and maybe you decided you want to do a, um, a header up on top. Let's go ahead, and I'll show you how to do that. 
Now I don't remember the code that was up there. I probably could type in pretty quick, but if you don't remember what it is, here's another way to do it. Just go back to your original My Stuff module. Let's view and edit that. And it's just an H4 tag and the information inside of it. So I'm going to copy that. And with the text editor I'm using, I can flip back and forth between pages. So I'm just going to flip here to this page with my, my stuff Aweber, give myself a space, and I'm going to paste in what I just copied. And now I've got a header in there. And let's change that header to subscribe to my email newsletter. Or let's say the email newsletter. Now I'm pretty sure this is not going to fit, but I wanted to show you um, what happens if you get something that's a little too long to hit, fit in that 191 pixels. So let's go ahead and save this. Okay, now that we've saved it, let's go ahead and just be sure that we've got the copy. Let's grab this copy that we saved on our desktop and pull it over here. And go ahead and overwrite it. Now we should have a header. Reload the page. And there we go. Now that looks awful because it's too long, but you can see that the header was added. And all we need to do is modify the file again. So let's do that, make it fit. I think I'm just going to take out the su subscribe to portion and just call it email newsletter. Save that. Go ahead and copy that back over. Okay. Now let's reload this again. And there we go. Email newsletter. Now, if you wanted this centered, basically you probably don't want it centered because they're all left justified. But you can uh, use a center tag in order to center any of these if you wanted to modify how that looked. So now we have a very standard looking block that says email newsletter, and here we have our Aweber form. So it looks pretty great. Now I want to show you one last thing before we're done, and that is what happens if you change to a display in standard box and change it to no. So let's go ahead and click no, click update stuff, and go back to the store and see what that looks like. Okay, now the standard box is gone, so basically the gray background and then the upper header section, the darker gray background, it's all gone. But you still do have your header here as, as far as the text is concerned, and we actually have the form in here. So there may be um, a desire to do this, and that's, I just wanted to show you what it looked like when you click the not, when you got rid of the standard box. All right, uh, that's it for this tutorial. In this tutorial, we learned how to find the Add Stuff module from eCartService.net, learned how to download it uh, to our computer, and then upload it to the web host. Then we went on to learn about grabbing the code that is required for the Aweber form. We installed it in the Add Stuff module, and now we've got it installed on our store. We also learned about some of the different configuration options that you've got regarding headers and standard look of the block and choosing not to use a standard block. So hopefully this tutorial was helpful. Uh, I'm really excited to use my Aweber integration now since I didn't really have this option before. So uh, once again, I think this is a great module and I can, I can really see a lot of different uses for it. So anyway, I hope you enjoy it and I'll see you in the next tutorial.